IMO 2021 problem number three international mathematical Olympiad so let's see the problem is what the problem is the following let D be an interior point of the acute triangle ABC with AB greater than AC so that angle DAB equals angle CAD the point E on the segment AC satisfies Angle ADE equals angle BCD. The point F on the segment AB satisfies. Angle FDA equals angle DBC. And the point X on line AC satisfies CE, CX equals BX. Let O1 and O2 be the circumcenters of the triangles ADC and A and EX. EXD respectively prove that the lines BCEF and O1, O2 are concurrent. So if we draw the figure and if we consider the intersection of EF and BCK, we need to prove that K O1, as I wrote here, EF, BC, and O1, O2 are concurrent if and only if K01 and O2 are collinear because K is in intersection of EF and BC and now we know that O1 and O2 if we connect them it would be perpendicular by sector of BD so if we prove that K lies also on perpendicular by sector of PD then we can conclude that K01 and O2 are collinear uh, for proving that K is on perpendicular by sector of PD, it is equivalent that KP equals KD. Now, if we use inversion, we can prove that KE equals... We, in the following, we will prove that EFBC is cyclic and KE times KF equals KC times KB. And then we prove also KD is... Uh, tangent to circumcircle of CDB and EFD, so we will prove that KD squared equals KEKF equals KCKB. So, if we consider inversion with center K and radius KD, then if we prove the things that I said, then PADC would change to uh, if we prove that KB equals KD, then we can say it change to PA prime DB so uh, because P would change to P A would change to A prime for example D would change to D and B would change to C and if we prove that P we know P A D C is cyclic P A D C is cyclic if we prove that P A prime A prime uh, we know that is inverse of A with respect to K. If we prove that P A prime D B is also cyclic, then we can say, okay, if you consider these two circles, their common points are P and D, so K P equals K D. And so we need to find A prime and prove that P A prime D B is cyclic. And also before that, we need to prove that. Uh, if we consider EFBC, it is cyclic and KD is tangent, so KD squared equals KC, KB, KE, KF. So at first, we want to prove that EFBC is cyclic. So if we consider uh, the circumcircle of EDC without loss of, uh, we consider that it intersects AD, intersects this circle in Q. So then we can say since this is let me right here we know this is y the whole things here it is y this is z this is z uh, by the assumptions of the problem and we want to find we know this is also y because it is cyclic quadrilateral and since this is y this is y so it equals this and since here is bisector, angle by sector, AD is angle by sector. We can again say that by Sewa's theorem that this angle equals this angle. So this is again Z and this is Z. So we can prove that BQDF is also cyclic. So since EDQC is cyclic, we can say that AE times AE times AC AE times AC equals AF times AB 
uh, sorry, equals AD times AQ, and we said by uh, Siwa's theorem that this angle equals this angle, so this is cyclic, so AD times AQ equals AF times AB, since the FBQ is cyclic. By these two equality, we can conclude that AE times AC equals AF times AB, so we prove that EFBC is cyclic. The first thing that we wanted to prove, now here, we know this is XX, this is Y, this is Y, this is Z, this is Z, and if you consider this is W, we can say, okay, this is the exterior angle, it is Z plus W, and also, uh, since we Proved EFBC is cyclic, so this angle, the whole angle, equals this angle. Now, we know that this is X, and the whole angle equals this, and also this is X. And since this is Z plus W, so we can conclude this is Z plus W. And now, we know that the if we consider this, angle, the whole of this angle, then this exterior angle of this, so it equals y is exterior angle of this triangle. So, this y, we know this is y, we know this is z plus w, we know this is y, so the remaining part is z plus w. So, here, if we draw a line that here is w, here is z, then we can say it is tangent to circumcircle of EFD and it's tangent to circumcircle of CDB. So if we consider CDB, EFD, circumcircle of them, and also EFBC, then if we consider each radical axis, then there is a famous theorem that they all are concurrent. So we can say this radical axis of EFD. C and EFD is EF, DCB and EFBC is BC, and radical X is EFD, and CDB is this common tangent like this, and all of them are concurrent in K. So here since, uh, until here, we proved that so far, KD squared equals KC times KB equals KE times KF. And the last things that we need to prove by the pre by the first page that we said that we need to also consider a prime that k a prime k a equals these all these things so we consider a prime such that k a prime times k a equals k e times k f we know k e times k f equals k d squared also equals k c times k b and now we can conclude since Ka prime times Ka equals Ke times Kf, we can conclude Aa prime Ef is uh, cyclic. So this angle equals this angle, and since EFBC is cyclic, this angle equals this angle. And also we can conclude that Ka prime Ec is Ka prime Ec cyclic. And on other things that we can prove that. A prime A B C is also cyclic because K A prime K A equals K C times K B and also A prime A F E, as we said, or is cyclic. So we found many things about A prime and the other things that we want to prove is to prove why A prime X D E is cyclic. So we can say that if we consider A prime one. Uh, we want to say, at first, we proved that K A prime E C is cyclic, so when this is alpha, let me point it by red. When this is alpha, this is alpha, since we proved that K prime, A prime E C K is cyclic here. A prime E C K is cyclic. So, and we proved that E F B C cyclic, so this angle equals this angle. And since uh, this x, by the assumption of the problem, xc equals xp, again, it would be alpha again. And the only things that we want to prove that y, this is again alpha. And the proof is because we know that 
we said that a prime a b c is cyclic since we said k a prime times k a equals k c times k b so when this is alpha we can also say this is alpha so a prime 1 equals 180 minus 2 alpha also x1 is 180 minus this 2 alpha because some of the angles of the triangles is 180 so we prove that angle x1 equals angle a prime 1 so here we prove that b e a prime x is cycle now let's see what we have in proving that we can say e z times z x equals a prime z times z b here and also we want to say that y it equals a z dot z c a z times z c equals a prime z times z prime b because we know that a prime a b c is cyclic since k a prime times k a equals k c times k b so we can say it equals a z times z c now if we copy this star next page e z times z x equals b z times z x prime equals a z times z c we use that and write it here now we know that p a d c is cyclic and by these things we can say that p uh, a z times z c equals p z uh, if we, at first we want to prove that z uh, let's at first use this e z times z x equals a z times z c so we know that if, it, if I consider this C1, for example, and C2, we know that power of Z with respect to C1 equals EZ times ZX. And power of Z or Z to C2 is AZ times ZC. AZ times ZC. So we can say the power of Z with respect to C1 and C2 are equal. So we can say that Z lies on radical axis of these two circles. So P, Z and D are collinear. Now, we can say also P, since P, A, D, C is cyclic. So P, Z times uh, Z, D equals A, Z times Z, C. So P, Z times Z, D equals B, Z dot Z prime. So let's see, pz times zd equals bz times za prime. So from this we can conclude pa prime db is cyclic. The things that we wanted. So if we remember the first thing, the first page that we considered, if you consider inversion with center k and radius kd, and if we consider the uh, circumcircle of a prime db, a prime d b and a d c then a prime would change to a d would change to d because k d squared equals k b k c and center is k d and d change to d b change to c because k b times k c equals k d squared so we know that p a prime d b is cyclic p a d c also is cyclic so p lies on both of these two circles and we know that uh, P is a fixed point of this inversion. Also, D is a fixed point of this inversion. So we can say KD squared equals KB squared and then KD equals KP. So from this, as we said, we can conclude that K lies on perpendicular bisector of PD. So KO1 and O2 are, uh, all of them are on perpendicular bisector of PD. And we proved O1, O2, EF, and BC are concurrent in K.